A father who arranged an annual football tournament to raise awareness of knife crime in South London has once again organised this year's, but it's the first without his teenage son Damari because Damari became a victim of knife crime himself. Thomas McGill was at today's tournament. Damari in happier times scoring a goal. The 16-year-old was stabbed to death in Croydon last July. And almost a year on, and a tournament in South London today in his memory, organised by his dad, Dwayne. He would be here playing for elite development as um, a striker, because that's where his position is, a striker, he play up front. But when they shut down these community centres now, they, these kids don't have nothing to do. And on the pitch today will be Alex, one of Damari's classmates. He's determined to tackle knife crime and says the attitude of young black men towards each other needs to change. As black men, we should be coming together and supporting one another, not hurting one another and harming one another. There's so many things going against us that it's like when we're going against one another, we're not helping the situation, we're not helping one another. So there should be things that people should be creating, there should be communities creating things to bring us all together and make us actually love and support one another. Last year was the worst on record for teenage murders in London, with Damari just one of 30 young people killed. Now, this tournament today is just one initiative trying to tackle the problem. Youth workers, politicians, schools, the police are all working together. But what do people here today want to see happen next? I haven't got the answer, but I could just do my little bit by probably encouraging other parents just to take more of an interest in what their kids are doing and getting the children, you know, involved in things like this to take them off the street. I do believe that many more parents now have two jobs, three jobs, have to leave their children at home to fend for themselves, to cook for themselves because they're trying to make a wage and a living. A poignant match for all those involved and one Dwayne hopes can help prevent other families from the devastating effects of knife crime. Thomas McGill, BBC London.